Hello everyone. It's Laura here. I'm going to do a uh, pretty... I'm trying to think what I'm going to do. I think I'll be doing another bloom. A little more. Pillow paint there. That is my um, Walmart color place. Right out of the can. Antique gold. Uh, antique. Antique white. Uh, here we have Deco Art Extreme Marine Paint. Extreme Aquamarine. <laughs> Isn't that a pretty color? It's one of my favorites. I really like the Deco Art Extreme line. They have such beautiful, stunning, shimmery colors. This is this little piggy hammerhead. I just did my last video about these new piggies I got, and that one is beautiful. Pretty steel slate-like blue. Funny story about why I like that color. My first boyfriend took me to my first Christmas dance, and his suit was a steel slate blue like that. So it was a good memory, even though I didn't marry him, but <laughs> I still like that suit. Good memories of that first dance. <laughs> this is ball gown. It's an interference. Uh, an interference gold. I'm going to squiggle this like this. I really want that to play off of that um, hammerhead. This one, I don't know why. It forever keeps getting thick on me. This is sea glass. I literally just made this the other day. Brand new container. And it's already too thick. Don't know why. Please bear with me. Gotta, gotta do something to it. It's too, too thick. If your paint is too thin, you can thin it with any varnish or um, three parts varnish, one part water. It's got to be a water-based. Oh, no, I'm sorry. No. I used the Minwax Polycrylic. This is sea glass. This is pretty. This is going to give us a pretty beachy kind of look. Uh, this little piggy blue eyes is next. This is another one I really love. It's a beautiful lighter blue. Look at that. I pushed my bubbles away before I do my scoop. Okay, and then I have some Amsterdam Light Rose. I think it would be pretty to have a little bit of pinkness in here. That is too thick as well. I haven't painted in a couple days. I did, uh, it's the weekend when I'm filming this. It's a Sunday. I did all of my painting last weekend. Then I was varnishing my stash today to get caught up. Because I do that. I paint a whole lot of them. And then I got to, as much as I hate doing varnishing, you have to do it or you'll never get to it. So that's what I've been doing the past couple of days. Wow, this is really, really thick. I haven't used this one in a while either. 
So anyway, today was spraying my coasters with the spray varnish. And um, I use one of those engine enamels. It's good for up to 500 degrees. Works really well. Gives a beautiful shine to them. And I have not had any problems with it. So that's what I use for that. And then the rest of my paintings, while I'm talking about it, I'll show you what I use. I don't know which way this is going to work for you. Liquitex gloss varnish. Um, I'm almost done with this bottle. This is 16 ounces. And I can't even begin to tell you how many paintings I got varnished out of that. Like every painting that I've ever done. And I've been doing this for, oh gosh, I bet about seven months now. I started it in the fall. So anyway, that's what I use. And it works really good. Just spread it on with a very soft bristled brush. I go all in one direction first. Let that dry for about two hours. Then I come back and I go the other direction. Like if I went this way first, I'll go this way the next time. That way you make sure you get full coverage of everything. So for this one... Since it's lighter, I think we're going to use a white cell activator. I think that would be really pretty. So let me get that out. Stir it up. And that varnish dries really quickly. So you're not waiting forever once you do varnish to be able to... Do whatever you want with them. Okay. Here we go. This is a pretty combination. I'm looking to see what I see the most of. So the hammerhead is more in towards the center because that was put down first. The colors you put on last are the ones that are going to show up more on the outer edges. Like here you could see the pink. That was the last color down. All right, let's let that work. Um, I'm looking to see what else I got. Yeah, those teals really show up a lot. So I think I'm going to try my next one, not today, but the hammerhead with fewer colors like hammerhead and maybe a gold or a copper. Oh, hammerhead would be beautiful on black too. So maybe I'll try that. I'm, I'm still debating what to use. I, it's really pretty with coppers. I like that. So maybe just a copper and um, A darker color three colors for hammerhead that's what he's getting next time that's it because he kind of tends to get lost if you use too much it seems to me this is my third time using him 
and I'm noticing he just kind of disappears. So let me get my little spatula off of here. Let's get some paint on the corners. And we'll give it a spin. Oh, that's pretty. We've got beautiful lacing. And these colors are just awesome. Let me scrape some of this so it doesn't get all over the place as we spin some more. Let's spin it the other way. This would be a pretty um, wintertime snowflake kind of look, this color combination. Although I'd probably still see the beach in it and think beach, but it could be really pretty as a snowflake look with a little less blue. Oh yeah, I'm, all right. The more I spin, the more I see the hammerhead. It's coming. And I still think we need to spin one more time. Then I'll take you down and show you the close-up. It's pretty. I really love that color. So glad I got it. Yeah. Okay, let's come down. Give you the close up. I'm going to turn the flash on. So, here's the steel head out here. Out here in the in the corners. There's some of it up there. There's some No, that's the blue eyes. There's some right there. Really pretty. Give me that light color. Oh, the sea glass. Sea glass is up there. There's the hammerhead hiding in there. Isn't that pretty? And that, uh, that ball gown. Now here's the ball gown over here. I'm trying to get the right view. Right there. See all that gold in that white area there? That's the ball gown. Very sharp. I love this one. All right, everybody, give me a thumbs up. Drop any questions you might have in the comments. Check out my description for some helpful information. Um, there's a recipe card at the beginning of the video. You can pause the video, do a screenshot of it, and you'll have it on your phone. And um, please subscribe to my channel if you found this useful. All right, thank you, everybody. Bye-bye.